Welcome. Hi, Smashy. And Joy here. Hi, guys. So, I built a castle and uh, haven't been recording. So, uh, I'm going to go over it all. Now, I'll catch you guys up. Alright, so I may have added an extra on the side here. So basically just look at the the patterns here. So you got brown, white, brown, white. And it's six wide, so it's six by six square. Okay. These are just all shapes. So I got the large cylinders here. That's what I use for these pillars. And they're three tall. Okay, so everything's three tall. So if you look at the in between the brown and the white here. So if you place this just like this, it should line up to the back. Okay. See it's on this line. On both sides I've made it even. Okay. And then you just stack those three high. Do that on both sides. We're doing the pillars first. Okay, I'm just going to show you the pillars. Okay, and then, and then this one. It's basically one click over and three back. And then you can rotate it. Kind of squeeze it in there. Just like that. This one. It was, if you go to this corner, one, two, and one back. Okay. This one, if you go to this corner, one, two, three, four, five, and then two this way. And this one matches up to this corner here. So it's one click away from here. Then you go back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then don't worry about these yet. I'm just going to go to the other side. It's basically the exact same. Just on the other side. But I'll show you anyway. Okay, so this one was just the same as the other side. This one basically looks even. Looks even in between here. One click forward. And uh, it's two clicks in to that. These are all three tall. And I got a barrier out here. Just throw it over there. Okay. So this one. If you're lining it up to this corner. Okay. You're just using this block here. Just going to line it up. It's just one out and one over. And this one looks even. It's perfectly in the middle. In between here and here. And it's one, two clicks away from that edge. All right, now on the onto the barriers. On the sides. You have this straight up and down. You can place bricks on it. And uh, if you leave it, they don't move. Okay? So if you turn it three times, you can still place bricks on it and it doesn't move. So I use that as a wall. Okay, so you gotta turn it three times and place your walls in here. 
just did, I think I did three of them. Yeah, I did three. And then uh, up at the top, it's tricky, so you got to take a barrier, take another barrier, stick it on top of that one, and then one more barrier. And you gotta place it on this, on that barrier, like this. And you go up to your desired height. Actually, you bring this one up more. It's kind of a pain. Takes some time, but it, it's easy. It just takes time. Okay. So you basically just go up to your desired height, which my height was. Um, let's see if I can get this right. Okay, if you took it up flush with the top of your pillars, you go down one, bases go down one space, and then you can stick this barrier on top of that, or on the bottom of it. So you place in barriers like this. Okay, so one click down all the way around on all of it. Okay, now this one was just straight this way. This is the only one here that I didn't do. I just did one click in. Okay, put it here. Then this one for the stairs. I did do this one. So it's, it's three. One, two, three. So I can place barriers in this one. Okay, so I did do this one here. Okay, so that's just one barrier here. And then I did the same thing for here. Okay, so how do I did these? This is what I did. I took barriers. And you see the front door here. I just lined it up with the front door. And then I walk this back to the back. And that's what I did. I start and I placed the brick here. So this pillar is this the width of this in between here and here is the same as the front door. Okay? So it's actually just go straight through the whole thing. Okay, so this one's the same thing. If you line it up here with the front door, it's perfectly flush. And you can walk this all the way back. It's the same thing. Okay. Same width as the back door. Okay, so this one, just to give you the heads up, because this is two bricks here. These are two bricks wide, the pillars. So if we took a brick off, it's two bricks. So I basically just took a barrier and I placed all the bricks on there. I took one upside down, stuck it there. And then after I did that, I just put another row of bricks on it, so it's too wide. And then um, I stuck these on top of it. It's actually two of them. So the top one, I took a floor. You could take a thick floor, okay? Stick it on top here. And then you just walk it over, over, and you can go under, over, under. And that's how I got my height for these, okay? And so I could stick one of the small pillars upside down on here. So it would be under the shapes. It's this small cylinder. And I stuck it upside down right here. I did these all on large grid side, so um, they fit in there nice and easy.
okay in this one the space in between this one I'll show you it's just one barrier okay so in between this one and this one's one barrier width and this is two two bricks wide as well and then in the middle here just one brick going up and down and then I have two bricks in here side by side I just made this design okay let me grab a floor and uh, maybe I could paint it and show you how I did it so this one just paint it different colors so that you guys could see the different bricks and uh, how I did it okay okay so this is actually two bricks here then this is just a row of bricks this way and then this one's just sideways like this and then this one's met in there and then all the ones down the side just kind of blend into the to the side here by blend in I mean it just goes in one okay this one probably easier okay if you guys can get that these two are just on the inside okay this one I did two barriers okay so um, coming off of here and here I did two barriers one's like this and the other one is one click okay and they're kind of like this see they're like that it's gonna be on the inside so you won't be able to see it just the outside look nice okay all right moving on this one is just one click in too so if you had it straight like this just go one click this one's even and I fall to my death all right so this one's with three clicks again so one two three just like this and you can do the upside just one space away still this one too okay okay so the stairs so this wall I did this wall it's on the three click thing Okay, so one, two, hold on. Okay, so that's one, two, three. It's on the three click space, okay? And I, and I just went this way. Same thing with this one, and there was a gap here, okay? And this is where the, the stairs are to go up to the second floor. So these are all shelves, right? So I had both these barriers going all the way up to 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 the same height all the way around and I basically took the stairs and you got to go an extra let's see two clicks down one two okay and that's basically where I started so I just took the barrier, moved it over, you have it on large grid size K, but it's just going to move a little bit, it's not going to do what you want it to do, but if you stick it on the floor, it'll move in click increments, the same thing if you stick it on the roof, so I stuck it on the roof, and you just put your shelves there, say you have your shelf it's a wooden shelf okay stick your shelf here and then I'll paint this yellow just to kind of show you 
and then you move it one click, put another shelf, move it one click, put another shelf, and that's how I got my stairs. Okay. And I did the stairs going about halfway down. So that is one, two, two clicks down. Okay, and so I went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shelves. And then eight shelves this way. Okay. Basically, this is um, one barrier tall here, the wall, and then I did this wall even with here. Okay, and so these barriers are going to stick through. It's basically, I just stuck a barrier on the wall here, and then I went out to where it was two shelves wide. So if this is the second shelf going down this way, I just stuck a barrier right here. And then you could place that barrier on the side here. Okay. That's all I did. And then <clears throat> basically these weren't here. So I just stuck these on the upside down. So you could you see it through the bottom, but that's okay because to build. And then this is just bricks. Just stick this on the side here. And I just stuck bricks in here to fill in the sides. The same with up here. It's just bricks. Okay. And that just fills in that side. I see a hole right here. I don't like the hole. I'll have to fix it later. Okay. Going to the front. Um, so here are just stuck barriers on the back. And then uh, these are barriers. Okay, stick them in as far as you can go. They kind of stick out to the side here. So um, if I paint this yeah, green, okay, and I move this one, you can see it like comes, comes through just a little bit. Okay, so I go all the way through the whole pillar, but you won't be able to see it because you stick this one there with it. Okay, same thing on this side. So that'll give you the space for the door. And uh, these are just, I painted them the same color as the pillars. So if we paint a pillar, it's the same color as the pillars. Okay, so these bricks here are just stuck even with the door edge. And I wanted a line going up. Okay, so I got an extra line here. And it should go up that high. There we go. Be good. Do the same thing with this one. So these are just bricks going this way. So it'll give me the appearance of a line. Right here, it's basically the same thing, except for it's one in. Okay. And you can stack the barriers up to make it as tall as you want. But this one is uh, one, two, three bricks tall. Okay. And then this one is uh, two bricks wide. There's one that's one click up. So it's on large grid size, right? So if I just had it even, go one click up. Same thing with this one. One click up and then one click down with two bricks. One up, one down, and then down with another two here. So there's two more, and this would be the three tall again. So here in the middle, I just took a barrier. And uh, I did this one on small, so I got to split it up even, okay. And then you stick that last brick on there to where it's right in the middle. So I did that, okay. So um, 
this uh, turquoise, green, bluish green, whatever color you want to call it. I have no idea. It looks blue green. I like the color, so I'll use it. It's kind of like curtains. I wanted to make the curtains. I, I'm using a picture, okay? <clears throat> and uh, this is the picture that says it's, it's like curtains there. So this is the curtains. Alrighty. So the curtains, I just did another brick back. Another brick space back. And I did two bricks. One diagonal. Another one this way. Up and down. On both sides. And then here on the the edges here. I'm going to put them back on large. I just went out even with this brick again. And I stuck these on here. Okay. Actually, it's uh, one more brick, one more space in. Okay. So I stuck those just like that. So it should be too high, too high on this side. <clears throat> and then these are just made like a little box. It's like a, a railing kind of, so that way you don't fall out. Okay. It's a, it's a picture window type thing. Um, so you guys are all caught up. And uh, I'm going to re record the rest of this <laughs> promise uh, I don't know if I'll talk through all of it but uh, I will give you hints I might do a voiceover I don't know but uh, let's get on with the building see ya yeah.